Hey, are we... Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. <sighs> they have a nerve to call this an orienteering exercise. I'm not certain what I was expecting from an academy founded by Emperor Dreykles, but I can tell you this wasn't it. You can say that again. What was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? What was that? There! The statue? What the heck is that? A beast of living stone? Monsters like this common in the Empire? Of course not! This sink's cutting off our only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. Damn. Here I thought the worst was over. Leos, help us! Watch out! This is a tough one! Let's do this! Right. right! Give it up, everyone! Leave it to me.
to me. Keep moving. Ah! 
Is it dead? No, it's down, but not out. Huh? That's one hell of a second wind. Looks like this thing has our number. It's no use. We're too spent to go... Guess I have no choice. Stand back! You've certainly got some good timing. Oh, seems like you're all okay, at least. I'm sorry we took so long. You're here, and that's what counts. So, a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. We give it everything we had, but as you can see, it's rallying at an alarming rate. But with this many of us, we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. <laughs> so it's all come down to me, then. You! Argus, activate! It's airstrike! <laughs> An opening! That's the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. There was a shimmering veil of blue light surrounding each of us. Was there? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat, but I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize! Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. I'm so proud of you guys! Anyway, that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy! What? What are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm, that is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ornament, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So 
that's what that was. Seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync, even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that! It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just... don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well... Here you are. I see. But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so... random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7 or not? Oh, if you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Nobles will land in class one or two, commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. Whatever class seven has to throw at me, I'm game. What? Just like that? So you're the first, then. You seem pretty sure about it. And... Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Hmm. A noble sentiment. Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity, so I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And you all seem pretty easy to get along with. And that's a yes from our two Orbal staff testers, though I feel compelled to remind you. Your weapons are still in the prototype stage, so on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me join too. Huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're going to have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. Ah, <sighs> Fine, I'm in. 
Well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <coughs> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life. Unless something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Wh why You're the son of a duke! Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick! I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> that said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh. <laughs> the pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. Give a guy a break. Well, how about that? Nine out of nine! With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever Class 7. I hope you keep those high spirits all here. Because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. Well, well, I wasn't expecting Class 7 to turn out quite as diverse as this. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. But perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? Seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. Keep it together. 